ISIS or Daesh was one of the uh, main serious problems in, in both Syria and Iraq. And no other country has killed that many Daesh terrorists than Turkey. We have killed more than 4,000 Daesh terrorists, more than 3,000 of them in Syria, almost 1,000 of them in Iraq. But ISIS is not the only the terrorist organization. There are other small groups and many ter foreign terrorist fighters in Idlib as well, and also PKK and YPG. But when it comes to YPG PKK, our Western friends, you know, are supporting them. Why? They have one pretext that YPG is fighting Daesh. Maybe in certain areas, yes, but the question is why they have been fighting Daesh. Just because they hate the ideology or to gain more territories in both countries? I think the answer is the second one. And today, everybody is closing their eyes to what YPG is doing and how they have been intimidating the other minorities. And I just met this Nobel Prize uh, winner, the lady, Yezidi. And she has been telling me how forcibly what PKK is recruiting Yezidi people in Sinjar. I think nobody here hears his, her voice. And recently I met Aramians, Assyrians, Syrianese in Turkish. And in the eastern part of the river, YPG PKK is closing their schools, intimidating them as well. And in Afrin, they force their children to fight against Turkish troops. So it means this is a terrorist organization. We have more than 300,000 Kurds, Syrian Kurds living in Turkey, and they cannot go back. Why? Because YPG PKK forced them to leave, and they co confiscated all their belongings, including their properties. So this is a serious issue. Let me. Why should I reach the NATO ally Americans? Is America shelter of the PKK terrorist organization? They shouldn't be. This is the problem. Why did they give that many weapons? More than 20,000 truck-loaded weapons. I didn't give these weapons. And these weapons are on the market, free market. Even Daesh are buying them. So you're willing to put American on Look, no, no, we are not risking the American, uh, uh, American soldiers' lives. Our aim is, our target is the PKK and YPG terrorist organization, as it was in Afrin. And our target was Daesh terrorists, as it was during the Operation Euphrates Shields. Why Americans? Why should I? But if America believes that they are the shelter or they are the protector of this terrorist organization, that is something else. And we have the channels be between the militaries to avoid any friendly fire or any accident. We have this channel, and we have good military uh, mil uh, cooperation as well. But the best way is, actually, while we are war focusing on the political solution, while we are trying to maintain the calm in Idlib, uh, the best way is actually to work together to stabilize that part of Syria as well. And we have the, we have the, we have the basis for that. Yes, we have the, we have the roadmap, uh, Munich roadmap. And if you look at the Munich roadmap, we will start with Munich and YPG PKK will leave, and then Turkey and US will work together actually uh, to stabilize this region, and we will hand, the, we will hand over this Mimbic and the other areas to the local people. And what is the criteria here? Demography. Demography before Daesh and YPG arrived uh, Mimbic. So according to this uh, roadmap, after we implement this roadmap in Mumbich, we will start implementing it at the eastern part of the river. So this is the best way to stabilize the region and Syria. And it's also very important for the territorial integrity of the country, which we are very much committed as Turkey. Is there a move that President Trump would make that would keep you having Well, President Trump, I think, is now considering to leave Syria once again. What happens next? 
in Geneva next week, we are trying to make the announcement that uh, we uh, agree on the consultation committee, and we have some issues at the civil society list. Obviously, the regime is seeking two-third majority, which we are against as Turkey and the United Nations. And uh, therefore, uh, we have been working on it. But we all, both sides know that uh, we can reach an understanding uh, through some compromises. And we are working on those compromises, uh, compromise proposals. And our deputies are working intensively. So we are aiming to go to Geneva uh, to announce that Constitution Committee is okay and they will uh, meet uh, possibly uh, by the end of this year or at the beginning of next year. So this, this, is, this, is, a, this is a very crucial process uh, for a political settlement in Syria, which is the best solution.